Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this tutorial, I will show you how to pass a variables from one HTML page to another HTML page in Python using Django Web Framework. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this tutorial series, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous Python Django tutorials. In my previous video tutorials, I have showed how to install the Django Web Framework and how to create a new project in Django Web Framework. Now let's continue the today's tutorial. If you notice in this Visual Studio Code, the left side there is the Explorer panel which contains three options. Notice the second one is a Python Django which is my project folder. In this Python Django folder, I have created my project. When I expand my project, there is a subfolders. And these all Python files are installed automatically when I created a new project in Django web framework. Once again, I'm telling if you don't know how to create a new project, please watch my previous videos. Now, first, let's create a new folder to add the HTML pages. I'm selecting the root folder which is my project, right click the project, my project, create new folder and the folder name is templex and inside this templates I'm adding the HTML pages, right click the templates folder, new file, and the file name is page1.html page. And here we got our page1.html page. Now let's write the code. Doc type. I'm closing the HTML tab. Now inside this HTML, I'm adding the header section. Inside the header, I'm adding the title tab. Let's give the title for this page is page 1 and after the header section I am adding the body now inside this body tag I am adding h1 tag this is page 1 and after that I am adding horizontal line to passing the variables, I require the HTML elements. One is the text box control and the second one is a button control. So let's add those ones. Enter uh, username. Username input type is equals to text. I'm adding the placeholder for this element. Username. And I'm declaring the property attribute name is equals to username. Let's close this text box control. After that, I'm adding um, button control, submit button control input type is equals to submit and value of this button is submit. Let's close the button control. Now let's add the form tag. Insert this. I'm closing this form tag after the button control. Now here in the form tag, I'm adding the action attribute. In this action attribute, I'm adding the second page HTML page. So the first let's create a new HTML page, right click the templates folder again, click new file, I'm adding page2.html. And here we got our page2.html page. Now what I'm doing, instead of writing the same code, copy this one, paste here, I'm just changing the title, instead of page1, I'm adding page2 because it is because this is a page2.html page, this is page2. 
and here I forgot to add page one the header section and I don't require this form tag here I just I'm adding welcome whatever the username I'm passing from this page one the username I want to display here welcome the username now we've got two HTML pages page one and page two and now the next step we require one Python file in my project there is a subfolder my project click that one I'm adding new file and the Python name is index.py and here we got our Python file from django.http import http response now the second package from the django django dot shortcuts import render now the next step we declare let's declare the function dev web page one is a function name a request colon and notice when I add the colon the cursor is blinking with some gap which is the indent so make sure write the code where the cursor is blinking and that's written I'm returning the render page render render method the render method takes the parameters one is the request I'm adding the request here comma and the second one is the template name the template name is our page one dot html page between single quotes I'm adding page one dot html let's define the another function for the page two web page two request colon return render a request comma request comma with the single quotes I'm adding page two dot HTML now let's configure the URLs open the URLs.py and notice in this URLs.py these are the default code after importing these two namespaces packages next from star import dot import I'm importing the index.py the Python page name now in the URL patterns this is a default home page so admin page I'm commenting that one I'm adding the new path between single quotes comma index the Python file name in this Python file name index we have two functions one is a web page one and second one is a web page two let's add dot see here we got the functions here let's add the web page one comma and second path single quotes I'm adding this is a page two comma index dot web page two now after that there is one more important attribute called name is equals to the name I am adding web page one and this is name is equals to web page two 
Now let's copy this web page to go to page1.html. Now in the action from action, I'm adding between curly braces percentage URL single quotes. I'm adding web page to. The user clicks the button control it redirects to the page2.html so let's save these files save all now the most important step when we are dealing with html pages open the settings.py python file now in the settings page notice there is a template section in the template section there is a directories dir we need to add the base directory here os dot path dot join method the join method takes the string path so the path is a base directory so let's add the base underscore dir base directory comma and the second parameter is the path name the paths we are getting from this templates folder so between double single quotes i'm adding the folder name templates because our html pages are in the templates folder so make sure add this join method in this templates section let's save this file save all yeah we got some problems in this file let's check that one here we need to add a single quotes page one page two let's save these files i can save all now before adding the passing the variables from one page to page 1 to page 2 let's check the basic output go to view um, debug console switch to the terminal see here I got the base directory which is a python django which I have created in this d drive so in this folder python django i have the project called my project cd let's add that my project also project then let's run the server python manage.py run server click enter After we run the server, we got a message, identified no issues and this is our server URL. Click the control and mouse click. And here we got the output of the project. This is page 1 which contains the enter username and text box control and one button control. Now when a user entered the name for example Charan when I click submit see it's redirected to the page 2 notice the URL page 2 we are passing the query username is equals to Charan and this username I want to display here welcome Charan in this page 2 so, so let's finish the rest of the code So first let's open page1.html notice here in the page 2 the url it's simply displaying the username is equal to charm i want to send the data with some security token for that i'm adding between curly braces percentage There is one token called csrf underscore token. 
so once you add this token our data will be protected from the hackers so make sure add this token csrf underscore token when we want to transfer the data now after that in the page2.html i want to display the message the username here so i can switch to the index.py here the request dot get in this get method i'm adding between single quotes the data we are getting from this text box control i'm adding this attribute name which is a username in the index.py this one here and let's declare the variable is equals to u underscore name is equals to now let's add in the render comma i'm adding the dictionary type between curly braces the key value single quotes this username the key value is the username colon this variable copy this one and paste here so whatever the data we are passing from the page one dot html from this one page one dot html i want to display in this web page two which is a page two dot html now switch to the page two dot html i'm adding bold tag uh, between the bold tag between curly braces and this curly braces i'm adding this username copy this one and the page to the username that's it we have done the complete coding part let's save all the files save all now let's read run this project again let's reload the browser i'm adding the name charan click submit and see here we got the results notice in this url we have added the csrf middleweight token and the username is charan charan let's go back to the page one again i'm reloading the browser and this time i'm adding the peter click submit here we got Peter and the URL is secured because we have added the CSRF token. That's it.